us, I'm sure. So shout out to little uh, graveyard there. I see you. I love him. Good doggo. One, go. All right, coming in on winner semis, bringing us to small battlefield. The John numbers classic. I love the up guns there. Just getting that little bit of extra chip damage on John. But he's also showing awareness. He threw out a rebels guard because nine times out of ten, a wee fit of ledge is throwing a ball at you. Yep. That being said, John has. Plenty more tricks up his sleeve when it comes to being at the leg. So you can't get too comfortable with just one read. Whoa. Ooh, that weave in from John finding that grab. That was so clean. Speaking of weave, John yeah, trying weave. to weave out of the way of the guns, but instead finding an arson back air for his troubles. That was just good awareness. <laughs> Son got coming right there. I was just good awareness across the board. <clears throat> good Ooh, and fighting the tech in place too. Let's see if John is able to find his way back on stage. We might. No, our is not gone. quite We're... getting the two for one for the uh, our send stock, but uh, a lot of damage. Yeah, we saw we saw it once on stream earlier, but Beat's not able to uh, give us a two for one. Uh -huh. What a rebel guard. And a power card for your troubles, too. Veep's now up three stocks to one against John Numbers. Playing like he's in his head, to be honest. Just barely missed space. The down tilt, unfortunately. And now this is John at the ledge. A great Aegon and a Woo! great tech. Not Even yet. though John's going to potentially find the stock here. Good I mean, man. this is about all you can ask for Veep's first stock. Okay, that was a little, a little greedy. But, but no, no deep breathing, so it's not going to kill. Yeah, no deep breathing. Next one will, though. You, you don't see Jokers living to 206 like this. This, this is just a boy. Assume something went horribly wrong, if he is. Ooh, or right. terribly right for Beats in this case. Ooh, what a Ooh. pickup off of the Sun South and a triple. All right, force him off stage. You can go down. He's playing things safe at the ledge right here. But you can't you cannot be giving John inches because you know he's gonna be taking miles. Leaning out the neutral air, and now potentially John's chance to play the game. He has been trying to set up these juggle situations on the platform. Ooh. No. That's a good trade. Yeah. Yeah, you take that trade every day, every day of the week. Immediately saying, run it back, run it back. You see the fun finger come out, you know it's so run it back, season. I think just this, this, the, this uh, utter this utter dominance, honestly, from stocks one and two was mm, chef kiss. Shout outs to the Metal Gear Solid collection, now available on all modern platforms. Let's go. I think all platforms anyway. I definitely saw it on uh, Switch. Ooh, I might, I might need to pick that up. Yeah, it's, it's on. Play, it's, play the first three games again. It, it's on my to-do list of, the, of like gamer homework. These are games I need to experience at some point in my life. Honestly, all, like the the first three Metal Gear Solid games, that should be everyone's gamer homework. Those those are masterpieces. Let's see right now if Beats can pull out another masterpiece in game two, like we saw in game one. Actually, had the cognizance to roll behind numbers, anticipating that he was. Actually, I think if he either shot the ball or just let it fall, that's just the right thing to do. Because obviously he can't hit backwards. Header has an egregious hitbox, mind you, but that's only off stage. He'll do it. Yep, he's looking for another deep edge guard, but unfortunately, that, I don't think Aegon was what he wanted there. That sh that should have been Falk on his purposes, just run off a back air. Oh my god, Beats is going so deep. But now, uh, that's actually good, because that too. But um, Joker's gun, when when our set is active, does have a bit of like actual knockback when used at close range. So at that point in the blast zone, that might have actually just killed. And it's not really anything a lot of characters can do about that. Yeah, I mean, just... It's such a good threat, like we saw in game one, just the, the sweeping across the the ledge mm -hmm. with the down guns. 
All right, another off-day situation. This is especially impressive because, like, Numbers has made a career, basically, out of reversing people for trying to edge guard him. I know, and Beats is just making it look so effortless. Uh -oh. Danger! Okay, actually, actually getting aggro now. Yep, yeah, finally, John, finding some aggro. hits off stage. Stalling with guns, which not enough jokers do. Just putting that out there. All right, I think we're going to be seeing the end of this. Arsene not able to find John's second stock just Woo! yet. Just barely missing the back air on the deep breathing. Oh, he but got not it. Not another one. Remember, if you can back air twice in one short hop, your character is carried. <laughs> Unapologetically. And uh, you know what? In this meta, he needs it. All right, this is basically where we saw game one. Beats taking a two-stock lead and now getting brought to pretty much even percentages. One header filled up, like, two-thirds of his Rebels guard. I want to put that out there. Yeah. And that did the rest of it. Now, Beats what is a John to do? Yeah, Beats getting super aggressive with these approaches, but he's not throwing out any, like, hitboxes or anything. Just running up and shielding, and it's been just so good in this neutral so far. I'm reacting to Ooh, the rolling. Not quite. Arsene is <gasps> going. Amazing awareness from Beats to not roll right into that F smash. Your average player would have rolled in and died. Oh yeah, I rolled in there. That that, that was me. That Chat, was my second stop. Gone. I see you. All right, John putting some momentum back into his favor, but this is so much extra credit for Beats right now. Whoa! All right, what do you, what do you got? All right, we're going to see another edge guard. We've seen Beats get so Ooh. much value off stage in this in, in this set. Finally, though, the point blank sun salutation. Now, numbers has made greater comebacks than this. You must play on your P's and Q's. No mistakes. Because one deep breathing combo and you're at kill percent. Ooh. If he had the Cognizance to down smash right there. I know. Right there. A fantastic air dodge from John, keeping himself alive. And now with the uh, the stage positioning, this could be bad for Beats. <laughs> what if we were in neutral and we rolled together? Oh, gotta be cool. Careful. Right, what's the play? Reverse? Oh, God. Oh, that could have been an up smash for Beats. Okay, the good coverage catch. with the Eric Aegon. Now, what you want to do now is keep applying pressure so deep breathing is not an option. Do not let him get to... Where are you going? No! He's alive! Hold. And Beats is taking it 2-0 over John Numbers? On to the next God damn. In winner's semis, nonetheless. He has the power-up. Persona 5 Tactic coming out next month. The power-up <laughs> is real. Like, no joke, beating... Like, I make the joke a lot, but uh, as that one stat page on Twitter, I forget the name of, I think Shoe Stats, you know, John Numbers has become the number one Wii Fit trainer mm -hmm. in the world solely off of being the best local player of all time. <laughs> That's the grind set right there. So beating him 2-0 at his strongest, you know, locale of operations is uh, no easy feat.